China just launched a supercomputer, not in a lab, but in orbit. With 12 AI-powered satellites now circling Earth, the era of thinking machines in space has officially begun. This is the start of the three-body computing constellation, a massive 2,800 satellite project designed to process data in real time without sending it back to Earth. It's not science fiction, it's happening now, and it could completely reshape the future of space, AI, and global power. On May 14, 2025, China took its first bold step toward creating a space-based digital superintelligence. From the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center, a Long March 2D rocket delivered 12 satellites into low Earth orbit. But these weren't ordinary satellites. They are the first components of a computing constellation that may eventually rival, or even surpass, Earth's most powerful supercomputers. This is the three-body computing constellation, and its goal is nothing short of revolutionary. Unlike traditional satellites, which collect data and send it back to Earth for processing, the satellites in this constellation are built to process data in space, instantly and autonomously. Each satellite is equipped with advanced AI processors and onboard systems capable of real-time computation. They also boast substantial onboard storage, up to 30 terabytes, and are interconnected by ultra-fast 100 gigabits per second laser communication links. This allows them to function not as isolated tools, but as a coordinated network, a thinking mesh in orbit. The computing power of these 12 satellites combined is already an impressive 5 PETA operations per second pops. That's 5 quadrillion calculations every second. And it's just the beginning. China plans to expand this constellation to include 2,800 satellites, which together could achieve 1,000 pops. A milestone that places this system in the league of the most powerful terrestrial supercomputers, but operating from space. The Constellation is a joint initiative between ADA Space, a commercial aerospace startup focused on space-based AI, and Zhujiang Lab, a tech research institute founded in collaboration with Zhujiang University and Alibaba. This partnership blends commercial agility with scientific depth and state support, enabling a rapid push toward building an orbital computing infrastructure. But this isn't just about number crunching. One of the satellites already carries a cosmic X-ray polarimeter, an instrument designed to detect and analyze gamma-ray bursts and other transient cosmic events. Instead of collecting data and waiting for Earth-based scientists to process it, the satellite will analyze it on the spot, classify the event, and even trigger immediate responses from other observatories. It's a telescope that thinks in orbit. The transition from remote sensing to real-time orbital intelligence marks a profound change in how we use space. For decades, satellites have served as passive collectors of information. They observe, photograph, measure, and then transmit their raw data down to ground stations where humans or Earth-based computers do the analysis. This system works, but it comes with significant drawbacks, particularly in time-sensitive scenarios. The process of downlinking data, waiting for processing, and then deciding on a course of action can create fatal delays when quick decisions are needed. What makes the three-body computing constellation transformative is that it eliminates the middleman and the weight. These satellites don't just collect data, they understand it. Through onboard AI processing, they can identify patterns, detect anomalies, make classifications, and trigger actions all without consulting Earth. The leap here is not in hardware, but in autonomy. It's as if your smartphone camera could not only take pictures but also recognize faces, emotions, or events in real time, and then act on that knowledge without asking you first. This matters enormously in applications like natural disaster detection. If a satellite picks up signs of a wildfire, it no longer needs to send the data to Earth for verification. It can cross-check heat readings, compare with historical data, and determine whether it's a fire, all within seconds. Then, it can send out alerts to emergency services or other systems. This rapid, decentralized decision-making could save lives, resources, and entire ecosystems. Scientific research also benefits. The satellite carrying the cosmic X-ray polarimeter is a perfect case. Gamma-ray bursts, intense flashes from deep space, can last only seconds. Waiting for Earth to process and respond could mean missing the event entirely. With in-orbit processing, the satellite can not only observe the burst but also analyze and classify it, and notify other missions to follow up, while the data is still relevant. 
What enables all this is the use of AI-specific chips and machine learning models built for edge computing. The implications of this constellation reach far beyond technology. They extend into geopolitics, economics, and the race for global dominance in space and artificial intelligence. With the three-body computing constellation, China is not merely catching up with the US or Europe. It's setting the pace. At the strategic level, autonomous satellites capable of interpreting military intelligence in real time represent a profound shift in defense capabilities. A constellation like this could monitor troop movements, detect missile launches, or identify naval deployments, and respond instantly with AI-driven insights. That drastically shortens decision loops, enhances situational awareness, and enables faster, more precise actions. Economically, the benefits are no less dramatic. Satellites in this network could provide continuous monitoring of agricultural zones, track global shipping traffic, analyze climate shifts, and even guide energy distribution. Businesses could subscribe to orbital analytics just like they subscribe to terrestrial cloud services today. And because the satellites process data on board, they can deliver more meaningful insights faster, without overloading ground infrastructure. This system also ties directly into China's broader industrial policy. The project supports the country's New Infrastructures Initiative, which prioritizes high-tech sectors like AI, cloud computing, and space systems. By integrating AI and orbital tech, China positions itself to lead not just in one vertical, but in the very fabric of how modern digital infrastructure is built, extending it from Earth to space. From a commercial perspective, ADA Space, the company deploying the satellites, is scaling fast. It has already filed for an IPO in Hong Kong, indicating its ambition to not only serve national interests, but also commercial markets worldwide. The model here is similar to Amazon Web Services or Google Cloud, but with satellites. Space as a service is becoming real, and ADA wants to be the first to dominate that landscape. On the scientific front, this constellation unlocks new modes of discovery. Instead of waiting for Earth-based analysis, Researchers could gain real-time access to process data on cosmic events, atmospheric changes, or planetary behavior. We've entered a new age where satellites no longer just see the world, they understand it. China's three-body computing constellation isn't just an upgrade, it's a transformation of how space, AI, and computing intersect. From autonomous scientific discovery to real-time intelligence and economic insight, this network of thinking satellites could reshape everything from how we respond to crises to how we explore the cosmos. The race for orbital intelligence has begun. And with this launch, China isn't watching from the sidelines, it's building the playing field. The sky, quite literally, just became the brain of our planet. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching and see you next time.